Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to get your iPhone 3G from iOS 4.2.1 onto iOS 2.0. And before we do that, I'm going to update this device to show that it truly does work. And I am not just buying these devices. Now this one I have linked in the description. Um, if you do not have a SIM card, please use the custom. It will unlock your device so you don't have to deal with anything. I have not had this method work with the 2G's, iPhone 2G. Um, okay, maybe we can't just do 4.2 just right away. Let's try. Oh, I got it. Tons. 3.1.3. So I don't think you can jump from 4 to 2. Or well, 2 to 4. Oh, I'm going to be back while we try to get this thing updated. Alright, now with it updated, you don't have to do anything with this. You can just minimize it or do whatever. This is in the description down below. Here's the 4.2.1. And if you're on 4.2, the 4.2.1 I think works as well. Oh, so that is the iPod Touch one. Oops. Desktop. Let's see. 4.2.1. Okay. Press next. this enter palm view mode all right you know where the steps enter the view mode and down the power button in the corner and then the home button and then releasing a few seconds later and entering the view mode now, since now it's in home DFU mode, the iTunes. Now, this is where it can become a make or break deal. If you just want base iOS 2, you have to have a SIM card in your phone. iOS 2.0, you'd have to have a SIM card. Unless you want to redo all the steps again to update it, you can get it back to here. The custom one is if you don't have a SIM card, you want to use uh, City Up. This comes pre-activated, uh, so you do not have to put a SIM card in your phone, which is great for me because I do not want to go find a 3GS that has a SIM card in it to put in my 3G. And now we'll wait for it to restore. Right, now with iOS 2 finished installing, it should just go straight to the home screen. Yep. And you have it right here. You're on iOS 2.0 with no SIM card installed, activated, and working. As you can see, I can restore from a backup, no problem. From when I made it on iOS 2. You 
And that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. And if you have any uh, video requests you would like me to do, drop them down in the video, uh, video description. Next one will be coming up will be either uh, iOS 4.1 jailbreak, iOS, or a iPhone 3GS downgrade for any firmware old and new, and new boot ROM. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one. Peace.